children's shawl, you will start by chaining four. This will count as a DC and your foundation chain. One, two, three, and four. Then you're going to work three double crochet, a chain one, and four double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So that's that first chain that you made all the way down here. So I'm going to double crochet into that stitch first three times. It's one. Two and three. Then I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do four more double crochet into that same stitch that I've been working in. This will be the foundation of the triangular shape for this shawl. And you'll be able to see that shape take form as I finish this fourth stitch. So the total number of stitches that you'll have at the end of this row is nine. You're gonna have that beginning chain that counts as a double crochet. So you have one, two, three, four. The chain one counts as a stitch that's in the center. So that makes five, six, seven, eight, and nine stitches. After this, each row should increase by six stitches. To do row two, we're gonna chain three. Turn our work so that we're working on the other side. And we're going to place two double crochet in the first stitch. That chain three will count as a double crochet now and throughout the pattern. One at the beginning of a row. Then you're going to double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. In the chain one space in the center, you're going to work a double crochet, chain one, double crochet stitch. So we'll double crochet into the chain one space, or row one, chain one, and then double crochet again into the chain one space of row one. Then we're going to double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. And in the final stitch, we're gonna double crochet three times. And that's going to create that increase. That last stitch is the top of your turning chain from row one. One, two, and three. You should now have 15 stitches when you complete row two. In row three, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. We're going to turn our work and then we're going to double crochet twice into the first stitch. One, 
We're going to double crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to front post double crochet around the next stitch. Double crochet into the next two stitches. Front post double crochet around the next stitch. And then double crochet into the final stitch before the chain one space. We're going to work into the chain one space, a double crochet, chain one, and then double crochet into that chain one space again, creating the point of your triangle. We're going to double crochet in the next stitch, front post double crochet around the next stitch, Double crochet into the next two stitches. Front post double crochet around the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. And then double crochet three times into the top of the turning chain from round two. As you work on each row, your shawl will grow. We're kind of working from the middle out. And at the end of this row, you can kind of start to see the waffle stitch taking its shape. There's a waffle right here and a waffle right here. For row four, we're going to chain three. Again, that chain three counts as a stitch. We're gonna turn our work double crochet twice into the first stitch. We're going to double crochet into the next stitch. We're going to front post double crochet around the next two stitches, one and two. double crochet into the next stitch and the way you know you're double crocheting into the correct stitch for that one is you're double crocheting in the front post double crochet the previous row. Then you're going to front post double crochet around the next two stitches. That kind of pulls the fabric back to deepen the waffle stitch and provide more def definition. You're gonna double crochet into the next front post double crochet of row three. Again, that's how you kind of know that your double crochet is in the right spot. Or your, yeah. And then you're gonna front post double crochet around the next two stitches. In the chain one space, you're gonna double crochet chain one and double crochet into the chain one space again. You're going to front post double crochet around the next two stitches. Double crochet into the next front post double crochet from row three. Front post double crochet around the next two stitches. Double crochet into the next front post double crochet of row three. You're going to front post double crochet around the next two stitches. Double crochet into the next stitch and then double crochet three times into the top of the turning chain of row three. The 
I'll walk you through row five and then you'll be able to kind of start seeing the waffle stitch take real form and you'll be able to have an idea of where to place your stitches visually. So we're going to chain three, turn our work, double crochet twice into the first stitch. Again, that chain three at the beginning of your row counts as a stitch. You're going to double crochet into the next two stitches. Front post double crochet around the next stitch. Double crochet into each of these stitches. Front post double crochet around this stitch. Double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Double crochet, front post double crochet around the next stitch. Double crochet into the next two stitches. And front post double crochet around the next stitch. You're going to double crochet, chain one, and double crochet again into the chain one space. You'll front post double crochet around the next stitch, double crochet into the next two stitches, double front post double crochet around the next stitch, double crochet in the next two stitches. Front post double crochet around this stitch here. Double crochet in the next two stitches. Front post double crochet around the next stitch. Double crochet in the next two stitches. And then double crochet three times in the top of the turning chain of round four. Another trick that you can do is place a stick marker at the top of that turning chain so you know that that's the last stitch you're going to be working into in each row um, and then you just move it up each row as you work into it and place it on the next um, turning chain. This as you can see now has established a pretty decent waffle stitch. So in a waffle stitch, you have post stitches that pull the material back and forward to create depth and texture. As you work, you'll see the waffle stitch expand with your growth, with as your shawl grows. Um, and you'll continue this until you reach row 17, where you will begin working a your set your second color for the shawl and an open work pattern.